Damn Moskal here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Hooks, um, the Hooks plugin for your WordPress website, and specifically we're going to talk and we're going to look at our Genesis uh, Simple Hooks. We have, this is the website we're looking at, we have the Genesis Simple Hooks plugin installed and it looks like even if you don't have a Genesis Frameworks with a, we have the news theme. FYI, but even if you don't have a Genesis Frameworks or a, uh, a theme, you can use hooks on your website. Um, you, it's not just made for Genesis. It looks like this top advertisement using AdSense is using the simple hooks. And the reason there's a big block space here in the earlier video, we are waiting for a uh, AdSense ad to show up in there. So what you want to do is get a simple hook. If you have the Genesis, make sure you get the Genesis simple hooks. And one thing we're going to look at in this one is the hook guide, because this was incredibly helpful to myself. But it looks like you can use a simple hook even if you don't have Genesis. So anyways, we've got Genesis, so we are going to look at simple hooks. And let's go ahead and look at the guide here, because that's probably the best way, most useful way. So what you can do, here's our advertisement. Our advertisement is put in at the Genesis After head Header. And if you look, so that's going to be a header hook. This is before the header. This is header hook. Maybe ours is actually a header. Ours is actually in the header hook. It's not the after header. Looks like if we put it down, it would be right after the header. And you can... I would encourage you to play around with a few of these different spots. Um, some things, <laughs> some things may make your site look funny. Other times, you might have, let's say, you put an advertisement in at the bottom or something, and it depends on how you put it in, but it might show up on all your category pages. So, for example, you would look within your category or even at your home page and you'd see the advertisement on every single one of these excerpts which doesn't look good. Um, another quick thing to note is within this Genesis Simple Hooks make sure that you center it so this advertisement here at the top the header advertisement it's gonna show up on this left all the way left justified if you don't center it first so make sure to center that if the header you can also do things in the footer and you can put we will probably experiment with putting a uh, banner similar to this top banner advertisement in between the end of this stuff and the footer and let's look at a uh, let's just look at this exact same page so we can really get an idea so this would be all places we can put advertisements or affiliate links in at the top or above the sidebar and then uh, we're actually looking at a category page so if you wanted to even look at your category page you can see how if you put it after the post title it's gonna show up on it's gonna show up like eight times on your category page which obviously isn't compliant with Google AdSense if you're familiar with AdSense oh, we're looking at a uh, an actual page here we'll do this I would strongly suggest you get the hook guide. It is very valuable and just kind of shows you where things are going to show up. So if we wanted, you know, an advertisement after our content, or you can even put it after the little category filed under bar, um, or you can put multiple advertisements in. This is what I was talking about before the content, so you could stick an advertisement in between those two before your footer stuff, or even at the bottom. Uh, there's inc incredible, incredible uh, amount of ways to put things in, and in my opinion, I think this is how these uber professional, you know, massive websites like the the websites that you have your email address with and uh, have their websites on or have their advertisements displayed on their websites I believe it increases and speeds up the loading of your website so if you stuck it in as a widget I think it might slow your website down even just a you know one one hundredth of a second or just a you know a fraction of a second 
having even just a fraction of a second increase with load speed and I'm not 100% sure about this I could be wrong but from my opinion I really think this speeds up your website a little bit faster uh, so it's going to be a little bit more search engine friendly and thus a little bit more likely to get search engine traffic so this is looking at the Genesis and uh, let's just go ahead and write something in so you can see this is before the header and this is after we'll type after here and let's just look at it real quick and this is just looking at the header hooks you can see and it's it's justified because we didn't center it like I was saying like I had mentioned but if we wanted to put a smaller advertisement in you know this would be a good spot uh, we just have to make sure that we center it <laughs> so anyways uh, this is Dan Moskal you can get more tips over at danmoskaluniversity.com you can also grab a copy of our book over at Amazon how to create a website easy button please comment below let me know what your questions concerns uh, problems are we're here to help please like this video and share it with your friends family and colleagues have a wonderful afternoon